this way. This way. Yeah, here we go. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, oh, fortunately, there's a nice big delay on this. Is that working online? It is. Okay, cool. All right, welcome. This week, got a fun circuit. Start as we do normally. We're gonna uh, we're gonna warm up. Get into it. So uh, first thing we do, some high knees. Get the pulse up. Uh, I'm gonna set a timer so we know what we're doing. Um, I don't know yet. We're gonna do a little bit more of a, a technical circuit. Still very uh, should be very challenging. But um, yeah, all good. Right, so. Spend a minute doing hot knees, jump the up, get the pulse rates up. Nice and high with the knees, nice and high. Then we're going to transition in a few seconds straight into star jumps. Making sure we're nice and warm. Okay, and star jumps. Oh. going trying to stay in frame here okay always there pulse rate night and high it's getting warm it's pretty warm out here already and down all right progress into some dynamic stuff Start off with a squat to stand. So what we're going to do? Do oh, ten of these. Slide the uh, hands down the front of the legs. Grab the ankles. Push out. Sit down. One hand. Two hands. Up. So ten of these. Keep my legs as straight as I can. Arms are straight. Knees go outside. Down I go. One. Two. All the way down. There we go, keep going. Oh, four. Show you something from the side so you can see what's going on. Straight legs go down, hips go back. Sit down, sit down, sit down, keep your arms straight. As high above the head as you can. Up, oh, two more here. And one more. Cool. Into a into a favourite of Spider-Man lunges. So from the side, top of press up. Foot comes outside. So my left foot is outside my left hand. I'm just gonna let my hips sink in like there's a weight on the bottom of them, on the top of them. Even. Sink, 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 sink. And again, you can advance, reach up, reach towards the sky, make sure the shoulders move back. Or you can walk the hands away, one hand walk, separate the knee. There we go. Or we can go the other way around. You're gonna change legs. So top of the top of the press up, my right foot is next to my right hand now. 
I'm letting the leg, back leg is straight, the weight on my hips just sinking me into the floor. Slowly, 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 slowly. Really feeling it through the through the back of my glute here, through the hamstring. I can advance, reach around, up to the ceiling, up to the ceiling we go. My left arm is currently straight on the floor, left leg is straight. Then if I want, advance again, walk round, push the knee away. Sink, 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 weight on the lower back. So allow the hips to sink towards the floor. Cool. Now come back to the centre, standing up. We're going to lateral lunge. That's one big step to the side. Glutes go back, I'm coming down, stretch is happening in here. We're going to do five each side. Go the other way. So I'm making sure I'm going back, sitting back like I would do on a normal squat. And other way, sit back. Keep moving around. Oh, it's a lovely day today. It's nice. Big lunge. Go back. There we go. Done. We're just going to finish off with some cat camel. So cat camel is tabletop position. Here. I'm going to move from my hips. Tuck under. Go round. There we go. Round we go. I'm just trying to create an arch in the back very slowly, but moving from the hips to create that. So the, origin, the, uh, the origination of the movement is my hips, and it's just loosening up the lower back for us. So there we go, it's as arch as I can go. Go up, camel, slowly back down, cat. Nice and simple. Now we go. There we go. All right, we're going to move on to some static stuff now. Start off with a hamstring stretch. We're going to do that on the floor. So, we're going to lie down. Again, favorite hip. Lie down. One leg up in the air. Pull the whole lot towards you. So, everything comes towards you. You're going to try and keep this top leg as straight as possible. If you have a rubber band, you can loop it around your toes at this point in time. I do not. So, I'm just trying to keep both legs as straight as I can. And like we do normally, to advance the stretch, I can pull my toes towards my face. You can see my foot hopefully there, getting flatter and flatter and flatter. That's going to bring the calf into the stretch as well. Go keep, the, keep this leg here flat. We're only pulling as far as the leg will be straight for, no further. I'm going to change legs. Up we go. Okay. There we go, flat. So you can see, I can advance the stretch. One, the leg must be straight first. So it must be straight. My other leg is straight as possible. And then I'm going to bring the toes towards my face. That's going to advance the stretch, get the hamstring involved, get the calf involved. I'm constantly applying tension to the back of my leg with my hands. All the way through. There we go. Good. All right. We're going to stretch our glutes now. So I've got my legs out in front. I'm going to cross one leg over like so, and I'm going to rotate across. We did this at the end last week. We'll do this at the start this week. What I'm looking to do is stretch down here through my glute, but also through my lower back by twisting around with the torso. I'm using my right arm to apply pressure to my leg. That's making the twist happen again. We're trying to create tension. Tension in the glute, that's what's going to stretch it. So the more I twist my upper body and the more I brace myself against my leg, the more the twist is going to happen. There we go. Other way. Okay, so hopefully you get an idea of what I'm doing here. Twisting the torso around. Pushing my knee away. So my my, uh, my heel is next to my ankle, but I've crossed my legs over. Okay, that comes across well on camera. There we go. There we go. Okay, it's going to go through a hip flexor complex. So if you want to advance this hip flexor complex, We'll go on to some advanced stuff in a second. We'll start really basic. This stretch, again, big favourite of mine. So we really want to make sure we're tilting the pelvis. So the pelvis needs to rotate underneath you. So if my pelvis is straight at the moment, it's pointing backwards like that. I'm going to rotate it forwards. Yeah, and that's again going to create tension down the front leg. So for the time being, that's my left side away from the camera. 
is where the tension is being created. And then to create even more tension, I'm going to rotate my pelvis forwards and then drive it into the back of my heel. Yeah. So one of the things that will create tension is that that's not physically possible. My, my pelvis can't go through my heel. That's going to create tension as the pelvis tries to escape forwards down the front of my body. My knee is always behind my toe as well. Now we're going to change legs. So you can have a look from this angle now. So I've rotated my pelvis instead of being back here, is there is it back there? I'm rotating forwards, creating tension down the front. Rock forwards, rock forwards. Okay, so variations we can do to make this harder. We can reach up to the sky, and while keeping our pelvis straight in the way in the direction it is and rotating forwards, I can reach away from the leg that's kneeling. So currently I'm reaching to my left. I'll show you that from the front. So here we go. I'm gonna Lean away from my, my left leg, lean to the right, but I keep my pelvis facing forwards and try and keep it as straight onto the camera as possible. I can also grab the back leg, pull it up, well I can't, but you could, and it will engage the quad in this stretch as well. So we can get hip flexor and quad stretch into the hip flexor complex. Um, and again, if I was to do that at more advanced reach, I'd go this side, I'd go away from the leg. There we go, reaching over, reaching over. Fantastic. Okay, so finish off with just an upper back stretch, very simple. I'm sitting on my heels, top of my feet are flat on the floor. I'm going to reach forwards. Okay, I'm going to reach all the way towards the camera, as far towards you as I can. You're going to reach towards me. And now I'm going to allow my shoulders and my head to sink between my arms as I continue to reach forwards. And that's just going to create tension in the upper back that's going to cause a stretch. I'm also trying to sit down as best I can on my heels. So I'm pulling one way with my hands, pushing the other way with my hips. There we go. Cool. And again, we did some variations of this the other week. You can reach to a side, and now I'm stretching this arm only. I'm pushing my shoulder that way as I try and grip the floor with my hand. I can variation this way, get a bit more of a stretch going through this lat here. So the lat is the muscle on the back. Or I can transition the other way. I can then transition, stretch this muscle down here. There we go. Cool. Fantastic. We should be nice and warm now. So we're near through the content for today. So today's content, we've got 5 by 12, so 5 sets of 12 reps. For once, we're going to use a piece of equipment. Um, piece of equipment is a strong word. So, I've got an open space, I've got my water bowl, pink one today. Um, you're going to need a box or a chair or a sofa, something you can put your leg on that is stable and does not move. I have a bench over here, so I'll be using a bench, so we're going to use that in the, uh, in the uh, workout you'll see in a second. So, you need to have one of those things. If you don't have one of those things, um, please find an adult and try and help them find you something that is going to be suitable. Um, if you're in a living room, a sofa is often a good bet, as long as you're okay, as long as people are okay with you putting your uh, feet on the sofa. Uh, kitchen, the chairs are often okay, as long as they are stable and they don't rock around, they don't fold or anything. Um, you can use boxes, toolboxes would work if they're big enough and stable enough, anything big and stable. So if you don't have anything like that, grab something. If you don't think you'll have anything, you can just do split squats when we do the uh, technical variation of a split squat. So. Nice and simple. Got my water. Got my thing to put a leg on. It's a bench for me. Um, I have to excuse the uh, neighbourhood children. They're very excited. Um, we're going to go through um, a bit more technical. So we're going to slow it down. We're going to slow the tempo down. So the tempo is how quickly we move. Um, I'll go through that in a second once we start. Um, and like last week, we're going to go through some of the exercises. And I'm not going to demonstrate them. We'll just get straight into it just to uh, make it a little bit more snappy when we're going through it. So this is five sets of all of these exercises. They're 12 each. Some of them are split legs, so some of them are going to be six each. Um, or some of them are going to be double, some of them are going to be 24. So it's a leg and core circuit. And we're going to get straight into it. Make sure you've got everything. If you've got everything, now is your chance to pause it. We're going to start off with low, low range pistol squat holds. So we're going to get into a squat. We're going to do six each leg. I'm going to pull my leg off, down, off, down. That's two. I'm trying to control as much as I can. Okay. 
I'm gonna keep my heels on the floor. Again, te technical slow. Oh. <laughs> 11 and 12. Now, heel tap, so lie on the floor, this is core. Like I'm gonna do a crunch, my shoulders come off the floor, and now I'm gonna tap from side to side. I'm gonna do 12 each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, controlled, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep the shoulders off. Seven. Make sure we're breathing. Eight, nine, ten. Yep, keep moving. Eleven, twelve. You can do squat pauses. So, tempo is going to come into play here from the side. I'm going to go shoulder width apart. Feet pointing out. I'm going to squat down. Slow. Going to pause. One, two, three. Up. Down, try and stay like hydraulic, like a machine. One, two, three, press down. One, two, three, press down. One, two, three. It's four of these. I'm really thinking about driving through my heels here. The bottom of the squat, I'm squeezing my glutes, keeping my chest up halfway. As I come through the top of the squat, drive through the heels, squeeze the glutes through. Eight. It's nine. So you really squeeze through at the top. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Stay moving like a machine. You're pressing through all the time. Looking for a one, two, three count in the hold. One more. Now we're going to do leg lowers, so it's 12 leg lowers. So I'm back on the floor, legs out straight, I'm lying on the floor, hands down by my side, or I can put them under my, uh, my glutes. Legs go up, down they come, slow, 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 slow. Just before they touch the floor, we're going to go back up. It's control, really keeping my body straight here, trying my best to make sure my, my spine doesn't arch overly, like so. So I'm keeping a neutral spine, that is a spine that isn't touching the floor, but isn't miles away from the floor, halfway through here, controlled, there we go, controlled, oh, done, cool, now you need your equipment, Something stable, very important. If you don't, you can just do regular split squats. Those are fine and acceptable. So, Bulgarian split squats. Going to stand about two foot away from the uh, thing I'm going to use. I'm going to put my back foot on. Okay, so this is my left leg. We're doing six on the left. I'm going to go down. I'm really creating the power in the left leg here. That's two. So driving up, squeeze the glute. Hips come through at the top. I'm feeling again like a hydraulic machine here, just pressing through. Going to go to the last one. Okay, both feet back down. Keep your feet in the same place. You will find that one leg is easier than the other. For me, the left leg is slightly weaker. I'm trying to keep the torso upright here. Torso stays upright. Keep my chest lifted, making sure I remember to breathe. Go as close as I can with the back knee to the floor. And there we go, done. Okay, I'm going to rest for 60 seconds now. So again, these are all about moving really well. So previously we've been moving fast. Last week we moved really explosively. Now we're going to move very deliberately with a lot of quality to it. As well as doing exercises that are quite technically challenging, Bulgarian split squats, etc. That's our first set done. Oh. Okay. So hopefully we're into the exercises. You know what they're about now. You know what's going on. So we can just get we can really fly through these next ones. 
you want to skip ahead of me, if you think you, you can, uh, if you think I'm going a little bit too slow, then do. But focus on the tempo being quite slow. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. It's a really solid tempo for these sort of things. Okay, here we go. We're back into it. So, normal squat position. Going down. So, I'm trying my hardest here to keep my heel on the floor. And remember, we're only doing six each leg here. These are challenging. So, using the core, using the glutes, everything I can to keep myself stable. Halfway through. Sorry, sorry, it's the neighborhood. Children having a lot of fun on their scooters. Okay, heel taps now. So, crunch, lower back stays on the floor, my lower back and uh, hips are on the floor. I'm up, hands by my side. One, remember, 24 here, two, three, four. Very deliberately, really getting the movement from here, from the obliques down the side of my core. Trying to make sure the range of movement is the same each way. 9, 10, 11, breathing, 12, 1, 2, 3, I'm keeping tension on the core here, shoulders are off, Ten, twelve. 12, okay, squat pauses, so do the front on this time, so I'm just over shoulder width apart with my feet, hands you can do what you want with, Clouds, crossed, whatever, doesn't matter. We're going to squat down nice and slow. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Press through the heels, glutes up. Down again. Whatever feels comfortable with the hands. So through we go. So I'm really driving the hips through at the top. Again, I can do what I want with my hands. My chest is up at the bottom of the squat. So halfway through, squeeze the glutes. You want to feel the centre of pressure at the bottom of the squat as, as you come up. Goes through the heel. That 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 hold stays. 2,000, 3,000 press. There we go. Three more. Press, hydraulic. One more. Pressing through, pressing through, pressing through, press, 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 press. There we go. Fantastic. Now, leg lowers. This is double leg lowers, obviously. I'm on my side, on the floor, hands on the bum or hands by the side. Hands by the side is harder. So, hands on the bum. So, at the top, that's one. What I'm doing here is really controlling in the core how the legs fall. So, I'm not letting the legs fall. The legs are as straight as I can have them. it straight don't let the heels touch the floor as close as you can I'm trying to keep my core down so I really have to draw my belly button and my spine together three more one more and here we go up slowly 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 there we go okay Bulgarian split squats. Again, doesn't matter which leg you start with. We're going to start about two foot away. So it looks comfortable to step back onto. Not too far, not too close. So uh, as I go down here, a bit, a bit further away, I'm going to go with my, leg lift, my left leg first. Left. That's one. I'm really driving the hips through. As I come down, the hips are level. I didn't know what's going on. Four. Drive the hips through, glutes, 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 six, five even, and six. Change legs, feet in the same place. Back we go. So I'm going to squat down. And here we go. Four. And six. Okay, one minute of rest again. Take on some water. Oh. I 
fantastic. All right. So again, tempo is low, so that's what makes this challenging. What makes it challenging is how low the tempo is. If you want to make it harder, you can do it slower. Uh, 30 seconds left on the rest. Um, we'll keep it this tempo. So this is roughly three seconds for each part of the exercise. Count that out in your head: 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, or one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Okay. 10 seconds. All right, these are uh, these lower-range pistol squats are pretty hard. Getting into them controlled and getting into them properly is is challenging. So again, set up for the squat. Here we go. Down we go. I'm going to step back a little bit. I'm going to kick my tablet. Two. So, really focus on the core. I'm trying to stay in the same place here. You could definitely have a, a stronger leg and a weaker leg. Halfway through. Here we go again. Oh. Oh. Last week I almost fell over in the lounge, so I'm going to fall over doing these this week. Good. Okay, into heel taps, down into it. Gonna get ready, legs flat on the floor, shoulders come off. We're doing 12 each side, remember? Three, four, five, belly much the spine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. So I'm really thinking about poor engagement, pulling myself around from here. That's what's creating the power, creating the movement. 23, 24. Okay, squat pauses. So, okay. I'm gonna mix this up. We're gonna pause at a different point in the squat. So I come down. Press through, pause in the middle. Up we go, down, press through, pause here. Up we go, down, press through, pause, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Down, pause, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Down, we go. Yep, here we go. Tempo is important here. Technique even more so. Halfway through. Oh. So I'm really looking for the chest to be up. It's going to allow my breathing to be good. Passing through. There we go. Nice and strong. Nice and strong. Two more. I want it to be continuous machine cyclic. Up we go. Leg lowers now. So again, two ways. Hands by the side or hands on your bum. By the start with my legs up. That's one. My straight legs makes this really good. Hover above the floor. Do as many as you can before you let those feet touch the floor. Straight, 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 straight. Over halfway through the workout now. And again, one more. There we go. Rolling through. Onto our split squats. So, making sure I'm the same distance as before, away from my little box or bench or sofa. Here I am. I'm going to squat down. Really important here. The left leg for me here, so this one, is doing all the work. Yeah, really trying to keep as much work in the left leg as possible. Trying to keep the tempo slow, controlled. My hips are staying parallel, they're staying locked this way around. We're going to swap legs. Okay. And we're going to go again. My knee stays behind my toe, so you should be able to see that on the right leg there. If you're having trouble with that, you might want to shuffle the foot a bit further forwards. 
or squat a bit further back into the, into the exercise and bend the back leg more. Oh, there we go. A minute of rest again. So the harder that exercise gets is the higher the back foot is off the floor. So you can start with something really low, like for say, something, I don't know what's, what will be like, like a small um, like yoga blocks. So something that's only like, I don't know, six inches off the floor, seven inches off the floor. Um, but you can also make it harder and harder. Once you get something like this, chairs and stuff are quite hard to do it on because they're quite high. So if you are struggling with those ones, either bring the foot off or find something a touch lower. Um, yeah, okay. 30 seconds here. Make sure we're drinking plenty of water. It's very warm today. Wind seems to have died right off. It'll be a fantastic weekend. Okay, you got 15 seconds. So this is the fourth set now, we're about to start. Here we go. So these are low range pistol squat holds. Very challenging. Set up for a good squat, shoulder width apart, drop into it. Okay, heels on the floor, one. I'll show you it from the side. An example of how not to do it, probably more than anything. Try to get the legs straight. Try to balance my upper body as much as I can while having heels on the floor. Twelve. Heel taps, sit back on the floor. There we go. Remember, lay flat. Shoulders come off. Core engaged, so belly button and spine are together. I'm just moving with the obliques. 24 of these in total, or 12 each side. How do you want to think about it? So, well, so all the power, my oblique is pulling down. There we go. Here we are, squat pauses. So again, we'll push the technical limit of this a bit further, so we'll pause twice. So I'll go from the front, down, pause, pause, press, hydraulic machine, hydraulic machine, hydraulic machine, pause, pause, press, 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 press. Press, control. Press it through. There we go. Halfway through this now. Counting in my head the seconds. I'm pressing through. I've got quite a wide stance for my squat, slightly narrow stance. Just control all the way through the exercise. There we go again. One more. There we go. Okay, double leg lowers now. So, if you want to do a slight variation on these, legs can go out in front, both legs up. If you want to do 24 of them, you can single leg. We do double leg. I'm really just thinking about my breathing here, staying control throughout it. Important in these things, remember to breathe while using the core. Really important skill in rowing. Core is activated, belly button to the spine, 
Try my best to keep that spine shape all the way through. The lower the legs get to the floor, harder it is. 10. There we go. On to our Bulgarian split squats. So, again, try and make sure I've got a little reference point on the floor from where I was standing. My legs can go back. Ooh. I'm going to lower down. Go, okay, so knee and good alignment there of the uh, knee and toe. Looking for this nice slow tempo. So, as I head down, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. <laughs> Smidge quick. <sighs> Try my best to move like a hydraulic machine, so that's just pressing through each time. One more on this leg. There we go. Again, I'm using reference point on the floor, so both my legs end up in the same place. Breathing is important throughout these things. All the work being done by the leg that's on the floor. Done. Okay, a minute again. Coming into our last set here. When you're doing the work, it's really important that the stabilizing muscles, so core, so that's here, and glutes, obviously on the back, are engaged. That's what's going to connect when we're doing split leg work the sides of the hips to each other so that they're stable and they're balanced the core is going to keep the hips level and it's really important that you can control the hips and we were talking in the warm about the pelvis to distinguish there's no confusion the pelvis is the the bone and the hips is the joint so when we're talking about pelvic tilt in the warm-up talking about a bone moving we're talking about stability here. We're talking about stabilizing your joint. Obviously, you can't stabilize a muscle, not a muscle or bone. All right, here we go. Last set. So six of these each leg. I'll move from the side again. So you can see my technical fault here, other than wobbling around like a nutter, is that my heel comes off the floor um, while I'm trying to do it. So I'm working on that, trying to get it closer each rep. Again, pushing myself technically here. An exercise that maybe I'm not too comfortable with, but if I can learn to master it, it's going to progress me quite a lot as an athlete. Single leg strength, really quite something that's highly valuable in any sport. Now, that's 12 of those done. Heel taps now. So I go down. Here's the four always. Cool. Belly button to the spine. 24 of these, or 12, depending if you can eat. Depends how you want to think about it. Some people, the small number is easier to think about. Prefer the bigger number. Feels like I make progress quicker. Some of these things are purely mental. It's 20 for me. There we go, 24. Fantastic. All right, squat pauses. So here we are. We're going to go back to pausing just to the bottom now. Round off this. We'll go from the front for you guys. Down we go. I like quite a wide squat. That feels quite nice to me. But come a bit closer if you feel better. Getting that count, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Most important point with this squat is the hips go through parallel. What that means is that there's a parallel mark here. My hip is below, effectively on my knee at minimum. Don't want to go too low. Keep shaping my lower back. So I'll bind that. I mean, don't round out like that. I'm still up. So again, technically challenging to hold this part. This is the hardest part of the squat. It's right at the bottom. There we go. Really challenging to hold that position right there. Up we go. Hips come through. Glutes squeeze. Four more. Press 
press 3. One more. All right, leg lowers now. So, really simple. If you're feeling advanced, if you're feeling like you want to push yourself today, those single leg lowers are much harder. It involves a lot more core stability as the legs move in different times. These double leg though, still pretty challenging. And doing them at a slow pace is hard. Two. Three. Again, theme of today, bit of control. Previously, we've moved very quickly. Try to get as many reps in as possible. Right now, though, we're looking for these slow, controlled movements. You're just trying to make sure you push through. Keep going. Don't let those feet drop. See if you can beat your personal best for making it through the circuit without the feet touching the floor. Four more here. Make it all the way. One more. Okay. So, again, I've got my mark on the floor. There's a patch of grass just here. I'm making sure my feet are there. Feet in a similar ish position to where I'd have them when I squat. Back on the uh, bench. Down we go. Bit of problems with some knee tracking there. Drop my foot forward a touch. There we go, that's better. Shouldn't stay a bit more vertical. Hopefully that comes across on the camera. Control, my chest is up. Only going as low as I can keep the form. So I'm not looking for a huge shift in the hips here. Or in the pelvis. Change legs. Last rep, just nice and slow. One, two, three, count in the head. Really good. Three more. One more. Oh, brilliant. Survived it. Well done, guys. So, as always, heart rate shouldn't be as high as it is usually because we've taken our tempo right down. Um, still want to get our breath back after that last set. I'm going to take on some water. Back to summertime here. I'm just going to flip through, see what plans for the cool down. All right, let the heart rate come down a little bit. Just controlled breathing. And then we're going to get in. We're going to do quite a lot of stretching for the lower body, obviously. We've essentially done no upper body today. We've just rinsed our legs, but that's good. It's all good. All right, okay, so stretches over here. Head over to the uh, a wall of some description. Something you can push against that isn't going to fall over. Calf stretch straight away. This is a simple one. Really good for getting stretched down the back of the calf. Again, same principle applies when we're stretching here. We're just creating tension in an area. So I'm driving my knee backwards pushing my heel into the floor, that's going to create the tension in my calf. I can again, last 10 seconds, I can just stretch it a bit further, just to get the whole stretch in. There we go. I'm going to change legs. I'll show you one on the floor as well. Press up position, so you can stay at you, your wall if you've got one. But now I'm going to push my leg back. I'm going to create tension in the leg by driving this heel into the floor. I'm trying to keep my hips low and the legs straight. This is an option if you don't have a wall. If you do have a wall, you can uh, keep on your wall. Or if you want to try a different stretch, you can join me down here. And we're going to rock straight into a hip flexor and a hamstring stretch. So we went through this one at the start. Uh, hip flexors are very important in rowing. Um, a lot of injuries can come through not having very flexible hip flexors. So it's really important that we stretch them. That's why we stretch them often but we've shown how you can combine this exercise with a quad exercise by grabbing the back leg we're now going to stretch the hamstring so that's back here i'm putting it out in front i'm driving my heels down until i feel the stretch back here 
So notice I don't get very low. I believe it or not, this is a stretch for me. Um, okay. So just so you're aware, I'm rocking forwards here to get our usual stretch, rocking the pelvis forwards in the usual stretch down the front here for the hip flexor. But then also to kind of flow between uh, between stretches, a bit flowy, we can drop it. We've learned to drop the quad in. We can drop the hamstring stretching as well, and it's just a bit more a bit more challenging. Again, I'll just demonstrate how inflexible I am. So I'm driving my my hips and effectively my my legs this way, and I'm bringing the toe towards me. We spoke about how that helped hamstring stretches earlier on. I'm just trying to make sure my body stays straight here. I'm creating the stretch in the hamstring leg that's straight. Okay. Give for five more seconds there. There we go. Here for a lower back stretch. Went through this one last week. Um, again, it's a stretch that I really enjoy. It's really good for the lower back. A little bit of glute as well. A little bit of ITB. So going forwards, I lie down. My shoulders are flat on the floor. I bring my leg over the top. So you can see one leg is flat on the floor, one leg at a 90 degree comes over the top. And as it goes over, it takes the hips with it. But I leave the shoulders on the floor. And this creates a twist in my back where I can stretch. And I'm trying to get this knee on the floor here while this shoulder is on the floor as well. I find for me, I can feel the stretch deeper as in where I'm meant to feel it, as in, in my upper back, my lower back, kind of thoracic spine area. That's the whole back, really. Um, if I just relax and allow the knee to be taken by gravity, as opposed to trying to force it uh, by pushing it over. And again, we can extend the stretch to further down the back. So this is lower into the back, the straighter we get the leg. You can advance this stretch by doing it off the side of a bed or a sofa, so this knee can rotate further. That creates further rotation in the back. Uh, just be careful, don't fall off it and don't push too far. This doesn't hurt. None of, the, none of these stretches should be excruciatingly painful. It should feel like something has been stretched, but it should not feel like something is going to snap. Again, I'm just letting the knee and the, uh, and the leg that's rolled over the top fall towards the floor as I'm pressing through this shoulder that's closest to the camera. Again, I, you can just hopefully see I'm rolling my hips a bit more to attempt to get more stretch in the back. So I'm just rolling the hips over here, letting the gravity push the hips round more. Again, I find the stretch goes deeper when I relax. I find it easy to relax in the stretch when I'm breathing calmly. Okay. And we're going to finish off with a glute stretch. So two options with a glute stretch. You can either do um, the version where you rock back with the legs crossed over like so, or we all do the pigeon stretch. I can't attest to be very good at, but it's a yoga position where effectively my leg is, the leg being stretched has come across the front, and I'm using my body weight to push my hips into the floor. I'll show you it from the side when we change legs. Um, I recognise that you probably can't see a huge amount of my legs there. I'll cut off the back in a second. So there you go. I'll come over and show you from the side. So I rock around this way. I'm effectively taking this leg. I'm putting it on the floor, flat out in front of me. And then I'm driving my hips in the middle here towards the floor. And that creates the stretch. Again, it doesn't feel like anything's snapping. It feels like I'm stretching the glute. Which the glute being stretched is in the back here. Off the uh, camera, the side away from the camera. Is the one being stretched. I'm just using my body weight. I'm not trying to force it. I'm not trying to make the stretch um, deeper than it should be. Using the weight of my torso to see how far I can push. If I want to take weight off the stretch, I can push my hands off the floor. I can relax my hands. That's going to let the stretch go deeper. Right, there we go. Fantastic work, everyone. Um, well done. Thank you for joining in today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh, learned something. I hope you found that useful. Um, and yeah, I look forward to seeing everyone next week. Uh, have a lovely weekend, as everyone hopefully you all stay safe. Everyone, uh, yeah, enjoys themselves. Hopefully, we're we'll back rowing soon uh, with this with this fantastic weather that we have. That would be uh, that'd be great. 
But if we're not, we'll be here every Thursday. I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you very much.